Get your calendars at the ready to mark in these important astronomical events not to be missed in 2023. Join us as we look to the skies in preparation and anticipation here on this episode of Access Astronomy. Nowhere better to start than January, albeit near the end of the month. A crescent-shaped moon is expected to appear just after the sun sets on the evening of January 22nd, as it signifies the first quarter of the year's pending lunar phase. As the luminous moon comes into view in the southwestern skies above, within an hour or so of its appearance, we are set to witness two of the most prominent planets as they brush past each other in close proximity. Venus will be extremely visible to us here on Earth, and more vibrant to those with telescopic machinery as the Goddess of Love ascends higher into the southwest regions of space. As she is being tracked in her ascendancy, we notice the ringed body of Saturn, the sixth planet from our Sun, as it descends counter to Venus, sinking closer and closer to the horizon as the month progresses. At some point in the evening, both worlds will pass by each other and, for a short time, become within touching distance. That is to say, they will be approximately one degree apart, which is less than that of a full moon's structural size. This fragile distance between two colossal entities within the solar system will be so clear and noticeable that one will be able to witness the event unfold in its simultaneous timescale, even though Venus will outshine Saturn by a massive extent. Skipping forward to March 1st, a similar event will ensue, as both Venus and Jupiter will slowly but surely converge, this time passing within half a degree of each other, close enough to see the disks of both planets as clear as day. So let those January blues go and brighten up your evenings as Venus connects and shares her love with her fellow luminous bodies. For those who are interested in astrology and or Greek mythology, April will represent a significant period in the link between astronomy and folkloric legend. Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters, are commonly referred to in Greek myth as the Seven Daughters of the Titan Atlas, Bearer of Heavens, and of Pleione, the Oceanid from Mount Selene in Arcadia. The siblings formed a constellation of stars under their names, Maya, Electra, Tiagete, Selino, Alcyone, Sterope, and Merope. In astronomy, the Seven Sisters are described and understood to be an extensive cluster of celestial bodies which contain hot, blue-coloured, luminous stars that have developed over the last 100 million years. These are located in the northwestern region of the Taurus constellation in the astronomical plane approximately 450 light-years from Earth, which isn't too far away. On the evening in question, April 11th, just after sunset, the Pleiades open star cluster will announce its presence in the most visible form as well as Venus. Both the planet and sister group will be so vibrant that it will be easy to study their uniqueness through the most basic of telescopic equipment. The formation of stars between Pleiades and Venus, which calculates to more than 3,000 stars, will interlink briefly in space, thus adopting Venus as their eighth sibling, as well as illuminating Mercury, whose structure will reach its highest point. In terms of actual distance, Venus herself will be 100 million miles from our own planet, whereas Pleiades will reside roughly 2.6 quadrillion miles away. Talk about a long-distance relationship. In the study of physics, astronomy, and space travel, the words rare and or unique are constantly wished for and welcomed when spoken in scientific circles. In 2023, April 20th to be specific, the world will witness an extremely unparalleled hybrid solar eclipse. 
a rare manifestation whereby the eclipse changes its appearance as the moon's shadow passes over Earth's surface. As our planet is round and bowed in nature, the eclipse itself can deviate and morph between various forms, including annular and total. Countries such as Russia, China and the United Kingdom will get to bask in the enjoyment of gazing at this unique vision as it shifts between its annual and total variations. It will begin through the Ningaloo coast of Western Australia, where it will appear as total. This form of solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth, completely blocking out the face of the sun. Our Australian friends, who are in the right place at the right time, within the moon's shadow, will witness this total eclipse in full view as the sky turns dark and the sun's outer atmospheric corona shines around the dark globe above them. From there, this fascinating migration will extend through the West Papua province of Indonesia and across the islands of Micronesia. At this point, the eclipse becomes annular. This form occurs when the moon continues to pass between the sun and earth, this time when it is near its farthest point from Earth. Also known as the Ring of Fire, the moon, being the furthest from Earth, will be smaller in comparison to that of the sun, thus it will not completely cover it. Therefore, the eventual display will project the moon as a dark circular object on top of the larger, brighter sun, where the Ring of Fire will be seen around the circular entity. The eclipse will eventually come full circle in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, near the Hawaiian Islands as the transitions complete their cycle. Fast forward to October 14th and viewers across the Americas will observe another ring of fire. Beginning in the state of Oregon at just after 9am US Pacific Time, the visibility of the eclipse will run through Utah, New Mexico and Texas before trekking over Central America and ending just after sunset in Brazil. April continues its astronomical magic as the month draws to a close, this time on a weekend where astronomers and star observers have the opportunity to witness the Lyrid meteor shower. As the evening ends on Saturday 22nd and the early morning hours creep into Sunday 23rd, the crescent moon will have set and darkened the skies for many to observe a plethora of shooting stars, many of which would have been undetectable at any other time in the year. The star constellation of Lyra, which is one of the modern 88 constellations recognised by the International Astronomical Union, will illuminate its brightest star, Vega, to its most radiant. Also known as the Falling Vulture, the star system is described and illustrated on maps as a bird, representative of an eagle or vulture, as it clutches a harp or lyre and is overhead in temperate northern latitudes shortly after midnight at the start of summer. Vega will highlight the meteor shower itself, where in the darkest of areas, it is predicted that as many as 20 shooting stars will be apparent each hour. You may have to get up early for this one, but it will definitely be worth your disrupted sleep time. Midway through the year, an astonishing event is due to take place when both Venus and Mars come together and light up their vicinity in the sky as the moon sits beside them, thus giving us the opportunity to see all three worlds together at the same time. As the sun sets on the first day of the working week, Monday the 22nd of May, we will look to the west and observe the triple body phenomenon as they gravitate towards one another and shine brightly in the night sky. The myth that women are from Venus and men are from Mars will be represented above us for a short time before the crescent moon filters into the equation and positions itself neatly in between both planets. Once this arc formation has solidified, stargazers and astronomy buffs will be able to detect Castor and Pollux, the brightest stars of the Gemini constellation. A romantic vision indeed, those who miss this wonderful picture will be able to see it again on the 21st and 22nd of June. Every year the Perseid meteor shower comes to town, 
and is considered to be one of the brightest, most spectacular of all meteor showers. Associated with the comet Swift-Tuttle, the meteoric group is called Perseid, due to the origin point from which they appear, which is within the constellation of Perseus. During the month of August, the Perseids will be most prominent during the night of the 12th of August, leading into the early hours of the 13th. The Swift Tuttle itself emits multiple forms of space debris during the summer months and amid clear skies, which means that many of us will be able to observe between 60 to 100 meteors per hour. The comet's excess debris has an annual collision with Earth, and generates a multitude of shooting entities as they burn up and simmer into our atmosphere. In 2023, the meteors are expected to span a large area of the night sky, and will be easily visible to the naked eye in the most unpolluted, cloudless of regions, without the need for special equipment. The best vantage points can be found using meteor shower maps or applications, so it may be handy to get downloading as we settle in for an evening of meteoric mania. Before we know it, another year will be coming to an end, and we will be marking up our diaries for the next set of events that will occur in the year 2024. However, there is one last ceremonial development that will bring 2023 to a close. In the days leading up to Christmas, we have the opportunity to celebrate early, as the Geminid meteor shower lowers the curtain on our astronomical journey through the year. Similar to the previously mentioned Perseid shower, it is believed that even during the winter months of cloud and snow, 120 meteors should be visible per hour as the night progresses. The reason for this is due to the longer nights and new moon being out of sight in the night skies above us. This will ensure that even the smallest, faintest of stars and meteors can be seen before 2023 draws to a close. During the month of December, the shower's radiant point, in the constellation Gemini, is above the horizon and most prominent on the evening of the 14th. It has been calculated that from London, the radiant point is above the horizon all night, peaking at 2am, meaning that it will be constantly streaming throughout the darkened hours. England's capital city will be facing towards meteors as they shoot through the nighttime azure thus maximizing the quantity that will subsequently travel downwards, producing short trails that last a few seconds and are close to the radiant point. Then it will all be over. 2023 will be history, and 2024 will bring forth new beginnings, here on Earth and across the astronomical plane of space. As the years go by, we are constantly surprised and amazed at the new discoveries and evidence which are found and presented by the likes of NASA as well as the constant optimism projected by our space exploration industries. Perhaps one day we will be able to inhabit other planets. Perhaps we will discover new intelligent life forms, or even travel back in time. Who knows? What we do know for sure is that when times get tough here on Earth, all it takes is a few moments to look up at the night sky and transport yourself to another form of consciousness, to realize that there is something magical out there now next year and forever.